Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Mkolisi, the son of Nube, is my name. And I hope I find you well wherever you are. Uh, after filtering a number of questions, endless questions, from holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits who want to migrate to the mainstream South African visas uh, as to how they can track their applications online. I decided that I should record this video as a tutorial on how you can do this. Uh, this doesn't apply only to Zimbabweans. Let me make it clear. Uh, and it doesn't apply uh, only to those who are on the Zimbabwean exemption permit. So it applies to everyone who has made an application via VFS Global for any South African visa. Uh, I will take you through a tutorial of what you need to do in order for you to be able to track your application. This is because we are having a number of people who are coming to, especially my inbox, uh, my inbox asking how they can track their applications. I've had number, a number of people again saying that they are being inundated with questions as to how they can uh, people can track their applications. There are others who have been coming to me asking me to track their applications for them. And there have been many as well who have come to me complaining that they have had people that they assisted coming back to them, asking them to track their applications. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm already on the Google search uh, page. So this is the first thing that you do. You go to Google and then you click uh, VFS Global South Africa. You have to be clear about that. VFS Global South Africa. Because I'm always uh, tracking people's applications. You can see it's already on top. So it's VFS Global South Africa. Then you click search. It will take you to this page. Uh, and then on this page, you go to the top one because due to the rankings and due to a number of people probably searching for this, it's the one that is on top. Uh, so you go to this one here, as you can see. Uh, then you click here. When you click here, it will take you to this page. Now, this is where we are. Uh, welcome to VFS Global. So if you are applying, it will you will choose the options from here. But now we are tracking people's applications. So this is where you go. Uh, as you can see, this is where I'm hovering the cursor. You click here. And then it will give you this next page uh, where it says track your application. There is a highlighted section here. After you read, of course, you'll have to read the whole stuff. If you are new, you will receive an email update when your decision has been returned to the Visa Applications Center. Uh, if you can't access email easily or you would like more detailed tracking information, you may also be able to get updates by SMS sent directly to your phone. Check whether this service is available at the visa application center you are visiting. So we are interested in this. You can also track your visa application status online. Use the reference number present on the invoice receipt issued by the visa application center along with your last name to access this service. So there are people who say that they have lost the emails that they used when they applied or they've changed the emails, they've lost passwords. So this becomes handy for you to track your application online. So you come here, uh, you click on this highlighted section which says track your visa application status online. You click it. When you have clicked it, it will come here. This is where you then type your reference number TRW if it's a temporary residence waiver or a waiver as it were. You, track, you click here, then type your application, and that is the reference, and your 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 surname. Uh, if you are Dube, you click here. Then you click Submit. So because this reference doesn't exist, rather, uh, probably, or it doesn't link with the surname, it will give us something else. So this is what it does. Uh, application details not found. Please try with the valid sticker number. So this is basically for you. To be able to know what to do so this is where you will put your correct uh, reference number then you put your surname 
And then once you click, it will tell you that your application reference, uh, that your application has been sent to such and such a place. So usually, if your application is still at VFS, they will tell you that it has been received at the Visa Facilitation Center. Then they will put the date here on such and such a date. If it has been sent to DHA, again, it will state. So if the outcome is out, it will state here that your outcome is out and ready for collection. So then you will know that you need to go to where you submitted to collect. Uh, so I think this will suffice for those who have been asking us to track for them. It's a very easy uh, exercise. You can do it via your phone if your browser uh, allows that. But by browser, I mean you will need to use maybe Mozilla Firefox or uh, Microsoft Edge or uh, any other browser that allows you to check that. So I hope you have been uh, cleared on that one. I hope your questions have been answered and I hope you will be able now to do it on your own. So it doesn't matter if you applied for a waiver or you applied for a ZEP extension or you applied for a general work visa, critical skills visa, business visa, any type of visa that you applied for using the VFS Global, it will be, uh, you will be able to track it using this uh, VFS Global website. So I hope you will be able now to explain again to other people uh, so that we at least stop filtering some of these questions that people can verify stuff on their own and we deal with more complex matters. If you still have questions with this, please don't hesitate to use the comment section underneath this video or to WhatsApp me on plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five uh do not call me do not uh send voice notes just go straight to a text message and i'll respond to all of those so thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.